everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing my 2019 favourites. I know it's February and I know I'm late but <laughs> I've not had a minute to film this yet. Um, so I thought I've just finished my shift and it'll be a good time to sit down and properly film. I need to start making more time to film because I don't and I'm bad for it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I'm just going to wipe all the excess residue off my skin before I start. I'm just going in with the Garnier Micellar Water and making sure my face is all clean because it's probably not. <laughs> And then before I properly start, I'm going to moisturise my skin and I'm going to use the Nivea 24 hour moisture express primer, which is like a gel cream. <laughs> I've started moisturising, like I used to always just start my makeup and go ahead and do everything and then moisturise and put my foundation like straight on top, but I feel like I like doing it at the start because then by the time I get around to doing like my primer and my foundation and this is like properly settled in. So I've switched my routine up a bit but I switch my routine up like every week. So next I'm going to be going in with the Nivea Lip Butter and this is the raspberry one. Obviously I just started with these two because these are usually for quickness what I would put on like underneath my makeup and stuff and when I'm at work. Skincare wise I've not got it with me right now because it's at my house but I have been loving the Ole Hendrix and stuff. I've only recently actually just purchased that. I think it was just after Christmas maybe. Um, I went through to Edinburgh and I got quite a lot of the skincare. Um, I've been using the dark spot toner. I'll pop little like pictures or links or whatever on here so you can see what I'm talking about but it was the dark spot toner I got which I've been using every night and the one of the, the orange bottles, it's like the serum, the moisturiser, the eye cream, the banana bright one and I've been using a uh, Burt's Bees lip balm and I've been loving that as well and I always use the Jimmy Genevieve Youth Hand uh, CBD spray so definitely um, of 2019 I would say like from trying those, those are like Bit best beyond like anything I've tried like skincare wise I feel like my skin has really changed um, I just feel like it looks so much clearer like I do have a few scars from when I pick spots but I think <laughs> everyone does that but I've I've got a few scars but I'm like really happy with how my skin's been looking I used to get a lot of bumps um, on my forehead and stuff and I feel like the dark spot toner has completely taken that away um, so if you suffer from that, I don't know what that was that I used to get, but I used to get loads and loads of bumps like all around here um, and the dark spot toner has like cleared that completely so for skincare wise I would say those are maybe my favourites um, compared to those but those are like really really good as well what I've been putting on. I just didn't have the Ole Hendrix and stuff with me. Favourite brow product of 2019 was the NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil. Like that and it's got a little this spoolie end, um, which is amazing. And I love this brow pencil because it's just so thin um, and really easy to control and stuff. I'm going to zoom you in for when I'm doing my eyebrows. So this is the shade espresso that I'm using. So I kind of draw my line underneath and then I brush my line up so that it buffs it out slightly. And that's what I like about that product, it's so easy to like, like if you do, if you muck anything up or if anything goes wrong you can just literally erase it within a second. I don't do anything like drastic, like they obviously don't do, look that drastically different. Um, I just want to add like a slight definition towards them in like little gappy areas, but 
that's basically it. So I'm just going to do the other eyebrow now. So top product, I'm going to zoom a little bit. <laughs> I look like a little bald egg. Um, top product of 2019 for eye base is definitely the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2. You probably knew I was going to say that. I feel like I use this in every single one of my videos. Um, and on every uh, every client that comes in, I probably will use this as their eye base, like depending on their skin tone and stuff. And I couldn't imagine doing my makeup without it, so I think that is one of my top products. And to underline my brows, I'm going to go in with the Morphe M432 little fat brush. I just said little fat brush. <laughs> little fat brush. I meant flat. I'm just going to go like that and I'm going to do the same on the other eye. So I'm going to go on my stippin brush now to put the concealer all over my eyelid and this is a Jess Up brush in 142 concealer buffer. And I'm just going to place that all over. So you can obviously see what difference that's made. Just putting that on my eyelid, it gives me a complete clean place to work on. And it's just really, really good. It cancels out any discoloration on the eyelids or anything like that as well. So now that's on eyeshadow. So definitely my favourite palette of 2019 is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Clientele Palette by Makeup with Ja. She's a makeup artist from Australia and she's amazing. You should follow her on Instagram. She does like the most beautiful like soft glam looks ever. Um, but this is just a really, really good palette. Loads of, you can obviously see how much I've used it and I think I've had this for like two months max. Um, wait, where did I get it? Three months ago? I don't know, it was like towards the end of last year it got released. Um, it was like immediately my favorite when I used it but there's so many like warm kind of colors and stuff. I'd say for, if you were looking at loads of vibrant colours and stuff, um, the Stacey Marie Carnival palette was probably next on the list for being one of my top palettes for colour that is unreal and the pigmentation is amazing as well. Um, but definitely, I always reach for this palette so I have to, I have to put that as my top. I think I'm going to go for quite a warm eye look. So I'm going to pack colour all over my lid first um, and I'm going to go in with this belly brush and it doesn't have a number on it but it's just a dense fluffy brush like that and I'm gonna go in the shade and with the shade boy this is a really nice like reddish color and I'm just popping this kind of all over I'm taking it right up into the socket. So for this part, I'm not really looking at blending. I'm looking at just adding pigmentation onto the lid. And I want the pigmentation to be really like strong and vibrant. So I'm taking it up. And I'm doing a, high, a half cut crease. So I want the colour to be quite high to start with. So the cut crease is defined. Make sure I'm taking it right to the outer corner on the lid as well. So that looks really good right now. But <laughs> it's going to come together. So don't worry. So I've got my eyes like that. Might just leave them like that. Yum. So next I'm gonna go in with again the same brand. So it's the Belly Belly. We've been here done that on those these YouTube videos. I, I just can't say that brand, but I don't know what it's called. But it's good brushes if you've not tried them. And I'm gonna go in with Jaja, ja, the shade. And it's like a nice orangey colour. Gonna blend out that edge. It's actually so nice just sitting down and like doing a makeup look on myself. I feel like I, I constantly make up other people, and I don't really ever have time to just sit and just play with makeup. Um, and it's quite rubbish sometimes. Obviously, not really having time because obviously on nights out and stuff as well, like. Uh, I'm always like after a shift and I'm kind of rushing to get ready so I don't really make enough time to just sit and like make myself feel good so that's why it's nice to just sit here and relax and just like take my time 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend those edges with another Jessica brush. And this is called the Luxe Soft Crease, and it's 221. It's a really nice, big, fluffy one. And then to blend that out, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sandy. I'm going to go in with the shade GG and too much mixed together. I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with a black. And then I'm going to furthermore like blend that out with one of the brushes we previously used. So now that this is looking like crazy, I'm going to get this product to cut my crease and this is a P. Louise Times Mitchell Acid Rain um, product and it's the shade Blank Canvas and I'm going to cut my crease with this, it's really good and thick and stuff and I'm going to use my Zoeva brush which is amazing for cut creases, I can't remember the actual number of this because it's rubbed off because I've used it that much but if you just type in on Google Zoeva cut crease brush this will come up. Okay and then I'm going to start by Pressing in the inner corner, like so. I've been waiting all my life for something. You can already just see like how much coverage like, that's given. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there. I got like that cut crease to start with and then I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and like buff the edge. Probably gonna go in with a smaller one. Yeah you're probably best to use a smaller one just to like get control but I'm gonna like pull one like product that's like brush that's already got product on it just buff that. Like that just so like obviously because when that's gonna dry in that's gonna dry in like a total harsh line so just do one eye at a time and then like buff that in just so that kind of helps get rid of that line and then I'm going to go in and do the other eye quickly. Okay, so once I've buffed in the edge, I'm going to go back in with this brush and put a tiny more bit of black on the outer corner. Okay and then for pigment, my favourite pigment of 2019 has 1000% been um, Peaches and Cream Gatsby. This is unreal. Um, like the most beautiful sparkly gold ever and it's really popular with my clients and stuff as well. So this has definitely been like my top pigment of 2019. So I'm going to take a flat brush and this is a Jess Up brush as well and it's a 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. You can actually get sets of dress up brushes on Amazon for like £20 maximum. Um, they're really, really good and affordable brushes. So I'm just placing that on top and because my um, base that I used to cut the crease was very tacky, I don't really have to use any pigment glue or anything, this just sticks like right on top. That's actually all I can see is glitter when I'm looking down, like, <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm just going to wipe away all of that underneath. gel eyeliner on um, just over my lid and smoke it out so I'm gonna go in and I always use a lip brush to apply eyeliner so I'm gonna use a Maybelline 
gel liner in the shade Noir Black and I'm going to take a lip brush and pop this along my lid and just drop like create a line. This has been my fave eyeliner because it is just so easy to blend. It stays on so well, especially if you're putting it in your waterline. It's a product that just stays on all night. And when you're blending it into your eyeshadow, it just blends so nice. I didn't even realise that my camera literally wasn't recording there. <laughs> but that's me done my eyeliner. I literally just drew the line along and buffed out the edge with black. So... That's all I'm gonna do, like liner wise. And I'm gonna pick my eyelashes. So I've chose my pair that I, um, my favorite of 2019. I wore these for the first time ever in 2019, and I was like so shocked at how like fluffy and amazing they were. Um, they're the tie lashes in the style TL8. I feel like the packet just doesn't do it justice. Like if I seen these usually in the shop, I would be like, no, but. Um, I was talking to the girl in the shop and she said that they were totally amazing so um, I tried them and I just think they look like so so nice on the eye and they're really really dramatic and fluffy so yeah those are the ones I'm gonna go for so the glue that I'm applying onto the eyelashes is a dual glue the white um, one this is just the best glue to be honest I've used it doesn't smell the best but it is like a really 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 good glue and I feel like I never have any problems with my eyelashes staying on all day and night with these. So yeah, I've heard that the one in the green packet is really, really good. Um, I have tried the red packet, or the, I think it's pink or red, and it's the dark glue, um, like the black one, but I just feel like if, if you make a mess, if you've not got much eyeshadow on and then it budgies, like it just leaves a black mark, so I prefer this one because it is see-through. I just apply a bit onto the lashes and this does take quite a while to dry so I do leave this for like 30 seconds to a minute to then dry and then I'll go back in and apply them but you're best to leave it to quite tacky before you apply it and while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm going to go in with a little stubby brush like this and go in with the highlight shade from the clientele palette and it's like the really really light one here and I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. I feel like a good tip when you're doing your own eyelashes is to hold your mirror quite low down. Um, instead of up here because then you're obviously not going to be able to see your eye very well so hold it quite low down and then you'll be able to see your proper lash line and then just press it in so this is what these lashes look like I still have to put some mascara on so you can kind of see like underneath but they're like really really nice dramatic lashes and that's what I like when I'm going out and stuff so I've got those on I'm going to do a little for my face so for primer I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer and this is one of my favourites of 2019 um, well yeah this is probably like my most favourite most used to be honest I've went through this is my third one um, of 2019 I've just repurchased another one because I'd already went through two of them and I use it probably on all of my clients um, that have that kind of skin type and um, it's never been like a problem with like keeping my makeup on and I don't know like I feel like this primer is one that I've tried that I feel like does actually do a difference um, well does actually make a difference I feel like a lot just kind of sit there and don't do very much but I feel like this does um, help my makeup and stuff stay on a lot longer in my t-zone because I do get quite oily there 
I wouldn't say it makes my skin look very different. Um, like when I look at my skin without any makeup on it, but I don't really think it claims to do that. So I just say it does help hold the makeup well because it does go quite tacky. So for my favorite foundation of 2019, it's 100% the Sure Glow by NARS. Um, obviously. I'm not going to say a shade because my shades totally range like throughout the year. Um, the shade I'm going to use today is a medium 3 Stromboli shade. I do have like residue tan and stuff on my neck so the foundation's obviously got to match that so it's slightly lighter than my, like, slightly darker than my face. Um, but yeah this foundation has been amazing like I've just, like I only tried it in 2019 and I was obsessed with it and I still am, I still use it on a lot of people, I use it on myself most of the time when I go out. Um, and I just feel like my skin just looks flawless when I have it on, so that's definitely been my favourite. Like and to apply this, I'm going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush, and this is Dry H04, and there's a fly in my way. This brush has also been my favourite for applying foundation of 2019. It is amazing. Because it's a fluffy brush, I feel like it just totally applies it so flawlessly. Um, and yeah, I feel like I just always, always reach for this. And this has been my, I've been so excited to talk about this for this whole video already because I've just made this, well, I've not made a revolution because I feel like everyone probably already knew about this, but this concealer, I tried this when I bought um, another one of my Fenty Beauty um, primers. Um, and I didn't know that they had the, it's Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty, but I say Huda Beauty. Um, I didn't know that they had a standard Edinburgh. And this is the concealer and it's in the shade Coconut Flakes. Oh my god, I have literally never used a concealer this good. I just, I don't know. Like usually concealers, like yeah, concealers are good. Like I don't, I don't really have love, like hate relationships with concealers. Like I have loads of concealers in my drawer, and I, I like them all. And um, I use them all. But this concealer, I'm like, oh my god, when I use it, it's so so good. Um, I only got one shade because I just wanted to try it out. Um, but I'll definitely be getting more shades. I'm going to put it on a brush and buff it under. For a concealer, to be honest, like, I can't actually remember how much it was. I'm sure it was like £25 or something, £24. Um, so yeah, for a concealer, that is pricey, but I would say it's 100% worth it. And I love a bargain, like... Usually I would much rather spend £3 on a concealer, but <laughs> I would really, really spend this over and over again because it is really, really good. And it is one of the only concealers I've used that I've found has creased the least amount on me. So just the difference, it just like totally brightens your under eye, makes it soft and just flawless. I don't know if I've ever used this in a video yet. But, I feel like it's just focusing on my big large head. But um, yeah, the Jouer Concealer, that is unreal as well. I had used that for the first time I ordered them online and definitely a favourite of mine as well. So I pop that on and I'm just going to blend out like the edges of the concealer with my foundation brush because I don't want... Obviously because it is lighter, I don't want it to look too drastic, but you know me, I like to look drastic. So that's my concealer 
under my eyes and stuff now. Okay, so, favourite powder of 2019, 1000% Laura Mercier translucent powder. I was really late to the game with this powder and um, had tried it, like people have tried it years ago and were like, oh aye, that's good, but I had like never used it and I've not found a, a powder that I can like totally bake with, make my foundation look so flawless, but it doesn't give me any flashback and it doesn't stay on all night. Like this is unreal, I think. Um, I just used a little puffy thing to bake. I've kind of got back into baking because I never really used to do it. Um, I can mind, I baked, the last time I baked actually was when I was going to Edinburgh and I'd done my full face, like I looked like this, I'd done everything. Um, and what powder did I use? Oh, I used a Ben Nye powder and baked my whole face. Obviously because Ben Nye is raved about, I assumed you could bake with this powder. I was just like, hell right, I'll just put it on, whacked it on. So I'd done this and this powder was white, like the white Ben Nye powder. And um baked my whole face and I sat for like five minutes, I was contouring and doing everything and I tried to swipe it off and it was just the same. It had stuck. <laughs> it was like stuck to me. And it was just white, like all underneath and my, I just looked like, and the, it was just stuck. Like it had made me go white. And I, see when I say white, I mean like white. And um, I was actually traumatised and I had to wipe all my makeup off and then start again and I was just like, oh, can we have one of those days? So I feel like I'd never baked it saying because I was, I'd like automatically assumed it was me and it just stuck to me because of my skin or something. And um, yeah, so I was put off but now I've, <laughs> I've been put back into it with this powder and I always use this, it's amazing. I'd also tried the Huda Beauty um, powder and that was really really good as well but um, definitely I'd say this one was my favourite out of the whole year. Okay, right I've got my products. So for bronzer I had found this, um, I think it was like midway through last year and I had went into Superdrug and I was looking and this is actually a matte powder so it, it wasn't under the bronzers it was more under like I think maybe it's a powder foundation or something. Um, but it was a Makeup Revolution Matte Base Powder in the shade P13 and um, you can see I've hit pan, like I've used loads of it and I've used this once and I just loved the way it looked on me and it blended so beautifully, it's like buttery um, and for the price like I feel like I really needed to add this in because um, it definitely was like a staple for me at one point. So I'm going to go in with a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush as well. And obviously, like it's really hard for you to see um, how it makes my skin look, but the powder honestly, like mixed with the concealer, like I, I just feels like so, so soft and looks flawless in photographs and stuff when you get like a bright picture taken. So yeah, I like it. I'm just gonna take some of that bronzer. on my nose and chin as well so yeah that's definitely like probably my favorite bronzer of last year that i found um and that was that was one product that like i wasn't like usually every product i buy is something that i've like heard about off like youtube or instagram or anything that i'll hear of and then i'll be like oh i need to go and buy that and then i'll go and look for it but i had just like picked that up and thought oh that looks like an actually all right shade and then i put it on and i was just so shocked with it so i think it was just like because it was like that that is one of my favourites. And for blusher, this is like, <laughs> this is definitely my favourite, but it looks so ugly, so I don't even want to show it. Um, it's hip pan, it's broken. Like, I don't even know what happened to the lid. I feel like I just pulled it out one day and the lid was gone. I was like, all right, but I've used this so much. Um, and I feel like it's quite rare to hit pan on a blusher. And I don't know, like, I feel like this is one of the only blushers I've really hit pan on because I've used it that much, but it's great. It's the Makeup Forever blusher. Um, and what's the shade? It doesn't actually say. It just says 
sculpting blush. It maybe said the shade on the lid, but the, li the lid's long gone. I don't know where that's went, it's somewhere else, but it's just a nice, really peachy, corally shade. And it has a bit of a sheen to it as well, so it just looks mega nice. And I'm also using the same brush um, that I used for my bronzer. So highlighter now, I'm using this brush, which I've been obsessed with for my highlighter all year. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Dry H30. And I know I keep mentioning these brushes because they've been in, like, obviously, I've used a lot of them throughout this video, but that's definitely been my favourite brush set of 2019 that I got um, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill set. All of the brushes in that like set were phenomenal um, and they all had like a really good use, so I would say those have been like my favourite brushes of the year. And oh, of course, yeah, the highlighter I'm using is the Doll Beauty Shine Bright Highlighter. You've probably definitely heard of this highlighter um, because a lot of people use it. But you can kind of see why it's like actually blinding with like the slightest amount. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the dark. Right, so Spice Lip Liner by MAC, 100% my favourite lip liner. Um, I think I have like four of these and they're all like tiny little dwarf lip liners now, so I'm gonna lay my lips. Darkest roads and up in the clouds But I've always felt that something's missing That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire It made me feel like I could touch the sky oh, There's nothing missing For lipstick, one of the ones I reach for the most is probably Cream Cup or Creme Cup, however you say it, by MAC um, that's actually at my house, I've just realised I don't have it with me, um, but that's more of like a pinkish nude, like I, I really really like that nude, um, but the other one I've been using a lot is Peach Stock by MAC as well, so I'm going to pop that on today. Ignore my little lipstick, it's like an actual tube by the way, <laughs> because I constantly have to stick a brush in it. A song, like a perfect melody. And then um, my favourite lip gloss of the year, to be honest, has to be this one that I got from Primark. Um, it is just the PS Beauty Universal Lip Luminizer in the shade Game Changer. And I just bought this on the off chance. I thought, oh, I'll just give that a try. And it's really, really nice and sparkly. So... Baby, don't say you don't. And it actually smells really nice as well. So that's like the lip combo, my fave of the year. And then I'm just going to quickly do a bit on my under eye. Um, I'm going to go in with a small little stubby brush and take the shade Boy that we used first on my eyes. And then I'm going to take the bright orange and just buff a light layer of that underneath. Like so, and that just pulls like all the eyes together. All the eyes. Yes, I have so many eyes. So my favourite mascara of all time, like any year, any day of the week, is Lancome Hypnos. Um, that is just unreal. Um, mm, obviously, I don't like mascara. Doesn't do much for me when I have like massive eyelashes on because all I'm going to do is just cover um, uh, what you can see underneath. Um, so I'm just going to kind of use any mascara. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Great Lash mascara, which is also like a really nice mascara. But I just feel like nothing beats Lancome. I've been waiting for the one forever. Baby, here in my heart. I feel like my eyes are really big. So that is my full face routine finished of my whole favourites for 2019. 
I really hope you enjoyed it and it was actually really nice sitting down and just filming this. I feel like I just haven't sat down and filmed and chilled out for ages and it's really nice to just make myself feel pretty um, for a change. I feel like I just don't do it enough so it's nice um, and I'm going to hopefully get right back into the swing of things. So yeah, if you have any recommendations again please leave them down below so I can have a little read and then film them for you. I try and get through as much as possible um, all the ones that you send me in. So yeah, thanks for watching.